Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Thursday, January 6th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Go over. Hmm. Is it like review? I wonder. Go over. It could be about crossing like a bridge or something. I wonder if it could be span. Hmm. Let's keep that in mind. Garden item frequently added to cream cheese. I want that to be chive. Yeah, so it's not going to be span. Hmm. Let's see if we can build off of chive here. A GI may be seen in it. A GI. Are they talking about government issue? Or are they talking about gastrointestinal? Um... I think they have to be talking about a soldier here. Maybe seen in it. Hmm. There's a lot of possibilities there. Like fans who hold season tickets typically. Hmm. That's interesting. I would want that to be like loyal maybe? Or really intense somehow? I don't know. Rapper Blank Nas X, that's Lil Nas X. Okay, so Chive is actually not right. Hmm, okay. So, what do we have here instead? Garden item to cream cheese. Huh. Boy, I usually just have plain tofu cream cheese, so this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I wonder if we can build off of Lil here? World's Fair Sight. Hmm. It's not an expo. It's not a booth. I don't know. Great thing to feel like. I really want that to be million bucks. I feel like a million bucks. Hmm. I wonder if there's something weird going on with the theme. It almost feels like it has to be a million bucks. Um, let's see if it fits first. Yeah, that is way too long. Even just a million bucks wouldn't work. Hmm. I'm getting suspicious that we might have some kind of trickiness or a rebus going on. Yeah. That answer is just so good, it almost seems like it has to be right. Signal agreement. Maybe that could just be nod? Maybe it is span after all this time. Hmm, maybe this is camo? Camouflage? Yeah, that's matching the abbreviation in the clue. Hmm, it's not rabid? I feel like a rabid fan would have season tickets. R-A-B-I-D. That's interesting. This M is definitely looking like a million, right? And A would work with span. Hmm. Pavilion? Pavilion. That's very interesting. Pavilion and million kind of end in the same way, right? Pavilion. Hmm. Is there some weird, like, corner turning thing happening here? Very interesting. It wouldn't really work with rabid though, would it? Rabid, hmm. And if this started with an S for span, what would this be? This isn't really looking sensible to me yet. I wonder if we can get this long across here. June, hmm. Are they talking about the month of June? I don't know, hmm, that's tricky. It definitely feels like there's some theme weirdness going on up here. Let's move on and hopefully we can get another example of whatever is going on and it'll help solve this corner up here, yeah. Okay, brother. Hmm. Maybe like a Franciscan brother? Like a monk? I wonder. Bit of western neckwear. It's not a bandana. Bandana. That would fit, wouldn't it? Hmm. 
bandana. It really doesn't work with a million bucks though, right? Ooh, maybe it does because this could be bucks, right? A million? <laughs> what is going on here? Let's put in bucks and then maybe we can try and fill out this section just to confirm that we have that right. Yeah. One of two sultanates in the United Nations. Um, well, we know one is Oman because that showed up on the puzzle last week. And they did say what the other one was. I kind of forget. Was it Bhutan, maybe? Spill the beans. Maybe that could be Blab. Yeah, you're letting a secret out. All right, let's try Bhutan here. Um, and maybe we can build off of this H. Detective Diaz on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Shoot, I've never watched this show. I think Andy Samberg is really funny. Yeah, but I've never watched it. U-shaped bike accessory. Okay, that's definitely a lock. Beseech could be ask. No frills could maybe be basic. Okay, Jose Diaz. Yeah, I never would have guessed that. This is looking weird though. ATK? Brother. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not Bhutan. Maybe it's Brunei. And this could be Monk still? Oh my god, what is going on here? Um, yeah, let's put in Brunei. I'm not even sure how to spell it. I think it's Brunei like that. Let's put Monk back in. I think the B has to be right though in Bandana or what was Bandana. Um, okay, so maybe this is a Bolo tie. Oof, very tricky. Um, all right, it definitely seems like we have some weird theme thing happening on a million bucks. Um, I'm not sure how you would abbreviate that. So it would fit in here. If it was a M M box, that would make sense to me because M M is an abbreviation for million, but we have two extra spaces here. Hmm. I wonder if it's some other abbreviation for million. I don't know. Let's see if we can build off of bolo tie here. Plus or minus thing. That could be a pole like on a magnet. Cheers, booze, and such. Hmm. It seems like maybe it's going to end in noise. I would almost want that to be like crowd noise. Kissing on the subway, e.g. for short. That's definitely public displays of affection. Hmm. A little bit of power. I wonder if they're being literal here. Could it end in a watt? A watt is a unit of power. Could it be like a nanowatt or something? Hmm, it definitely seems like this theme might be something to do with prefixes because we kind of have million, we have some kind of small prefix here maybe. A little bit of power, yeah. Like the eventual inheritors of the earth in Matthew. I think it says the meek will inherit the earth, right? Hmm. Funds might be held in this. I really want this to be escrow. It really seems like it should be escrow. Hmm. Does this have a crow in a rebus here somehow? Genre for Agatha Christie or Arthur Conan Doyle. Hmm. Well, I guess that would be mysteries, right? Um, that doesn't quite fit, does it? I guess it could also be like detective fiction or something. Um, because Agatha Christie had Hercule Poirot, right? That was her detective. And Doyle wrote Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not Watt after all. Classic boulevard liners. That should probably be Elms. Boat going back and forth. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about a ferry, I guess. Boat going back and forth. Is it a kayak? 
I guess you'd be going back and forth because you have to paddle on one side and then the other. Yeah, maybe it is a kayak. Oh, you know what else it might be talking about? It might be talking about the fact that kayak is a palindrome. That's really clever. Boat going back and forth. <laughs> it's a boat either way you read it. Wow, what an amazing clue. That's gotta be it. Man, I'm stunned by that. That is so clever. Wow, I don't even think that's part of a theme. That's just an amazing wordplay clue. Okay, a baby fox is a kit, yes. Like kit cloud kicker. Okay, strike down. Hmm, it's not veto. Strike down, I'm not sure. It definitely looks like this ends in mystery, right? Yeah, let's put that in. Hmm, I'm really not sure about what here. Let's take that out. Hmm, this is so interesting. I kind of feel like this has to be a rebus or something weird because this feels like it has to be part of the prefix here and this feels like it needs to be something longer than just three letters. Yeah. Hmm. Something noise. Crowd noise? We thought we had a crow somewhere else too, didn't we? Crowd noise. If this was a crow... Wasn't there a crow over here? Wait, no, it was here, right? For escrow? Funds might be held in escrow. Crow watt. Ooh, micro watt. Oh my god. It's three crows in a row, isn't it? <laughs> and what do you have when you have three crows? You have a murder, a murder of crows. Oh my god, that is so amazing. How much fun is that? Crow Rebus is making a murder. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. This is so much fun. All right, let's put that in, Crow. We're gonna have to put it in three times. Crow and Crow here. All right. And then that is escrow like we really wanted. Micro watt, and then crowd noise. Ooh, that is great. And this reads as murder on the across here. All right. Well, now we definitely know we're dealing with rebuses. I wonder if it's all going to be crows, or maybe it's going to be different groups with different group names. I think it almost has to be, right? Um, yeah, this is going to end in month. I seriously doubt it's going to start with Murder Month, yeah. I don't know what it is going to start with, though. That's an issue. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what you call June. I mean, people like to get married in June, right? Well, I guess, you know what? We want this to be million, right? So the rebus should be right here. Let's see what that turns out to be. A million. Oh, it's going to be a lion, isn't it? A million, okay. Lion. So I guess the rest of these are going to be a lion. And when you have three lions, I guess you would have a pride, right? Okay, so it's going to be Pride Month. That's right. That's when the Pride Parade is. Excellent. This has been a great week for the Pride Parade. Yeah. Okay, let's put our last lion in. And then hopefully we should be able to get these downs now that we're causing us so much trouble. Oh, it's going to be a scallion. Very close to a chive. Okay, um, it was pavilion after all, look at that. That's so funny. Okay, and then this is gonna be an avid fan. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Wow, what a fun theme. I can't wait to get to our next group of animals. I guess we'll just have two more. Maybe it'll be these two. Yeah, hopefully it'll be smoother sailing now that we know how the theme is working. Like some relationships. Hmm, it's not platonic. Strike down. Maybe that's smite? Yeah, we had that nice smite wordplay a couple of days ago. All right, would really rather not. Hmm. Hate to? I would hate to. I would really rather not. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Hate to. X, Y, and sometimes Z. 
Those are axes. Yeah, if you're dealing with three dimensions, you would use Z. Romulus, Remus, and the founding of Rome, e.g. Um, hmm. I mean, that's kind of the founding story of Rome, right? How else would you describe that? Hmm. Mark of divinity. That could be a halo. Brain connection should be an axon. Yeah, those link up your brain cells, right? Okay. Um, maybe this is lore. Yeah, that's the lore of the founding of Rome. Okay. Jet black gem could be onyx. Okay, so this is same-sex relationships. What a nice entry to be across the grid from Pride Month. Yeah, that's a nice one too there. Okay. Items on a checklist. That has to be to-dos. Let's see if we can build out the center here. Boosts redundantly. Hmm. High? Maybe it's going to start with high? Is this a G? NBA legend nicknamed Black Mamba. I feel like I've heard this nickname before. I'm so bad with basketball though. Time period or an anagram of one. And this is wordplay, so I think the pun here is going to be almost a cryptic kind of pun. It's not gonna be an anagram of some word that means time period. It's gonna be an anagram of the word one and that's gonna be an eon. Very clever, I like that one. Okay, um, that doesn't really help too much here. Last word in an improv show. That's gonna be scene, right? They say and scene when they're done. Okay, sleazeball, could that be a cur maybe? Word with high or seven. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe Kerr is not right. And this is not high either. Hmm. Inside info. Maybe that could be a scoop? It seems like this is definitely wrong. Let's take that out. Maybe this is high C's? Seven C's? Yeah. And then this is going to be a CAD. Yeah. A kind of womanizer. Okay. Hmm. Is it going to be hikes up? Like you could hike up your pants, maybe? Yeah, maybe that is kind of redundant. I never really thought about that before. Okay, um, maybe this is Kobe, Kobe Bryant? That would make sense, yeah. That would be why I would have heard of that nickname. It would have to be somebody really famous, yeah. Okay, Kobe, and then one reading Kerouac or Ginsburg, say. Those were both beatniks, yeah, beatnik writers. Let's put in beatnik here. Okay, we're getting close to our next theme answer, I think. Blank jeans? Hmm, what kind of jeans are they talking about here? Low jeans? Jeans you might have to hike up, possibly? I don't know. Filled with, hmm, filled with. I'm not sure what this should be. Blank ball. That could be a lot of things. Hmm. You know what? Let's keep building back down from here. Maybe we can work our way over. Cup holder, usually. Um, hmm. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if this was jockstrap. I don't think that's what it's going to be, though. Cup holder. Hmm. Back to you, an equivalent phrase. Maybe that's over if you're talking on like a radio. Compos mentis? Ooh, um, this looks like it might be Latin. I don't recognize this. Egg cells could be ova, plural. A rainbow is said to be a good one. That should be a good omen, I believe, yeah. Hmm, Compos mentis. Maybe that's sane? It kind of sounds like it could be like, your mental state is composed, right? Yeah, I think that's kind of a good educated guess there. Birthstone after Sapphire. I think another good guess here could be Opal, starting with that O. Reach for the stars, that could be Aspire. Tiff could be a spat, a little fight. 
things might get swept up in it. It's looking like that's going to be dustpan, yeah. It's not about getting swept up emotionally in something, yeah. Um, okay, so I think... What's our next theme answer here? Are they not symmetrical? Maybe it's at the end of this one. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at this one and keep in mind that we probably have a group of animals of some kind at the end. Early 19th century Australia for one. Um, they definitely used Australia as a penal colony, right? Um, hmm, a colony. What animal uses colony as their group name? Ants, maybe? An ant colony? Yeah, it could be ants. Let's see if that makes sense here on the down. Cup holder usually. Dominant? Maybe it's your dominant hand? <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, let's put in ants here. Okay, let's do the next two. And hopefully it'll be easy to build off of these ants here. Tums for one, that's an antacid. And country songs. And this is wordplay. Hmm. Country songs. Okay, so this is not going to be about the musical genre of country music. These are going to be songs about countries as in nations. Yeah, those are going to be anthems. Another very clever wordplay clue. All right, some frills could be lace, maybe? Lively in music abbreviated. Maybe that could be animated abbreviated? Right hand page numbers typically. I guess they're going to be odd. And then language in which most words are monosyllabic. Okay, I guess that's allow. The language itself is monosyllabic also. Very nice. Funny one? Maybe that could be a bit, like a comedian would have? Ooh, was that a revealer there? Let's look at that after getting this down here. Okay, like scouting patches. Shouldn't that be sewn on? Okay, so this is not about a bit. This is about a person. This is going to be a wit, a person that is witty, a person that's funny. Okay, and then this should be sewn on. And then let's take a look at this revealer here. Intellectual conformity, or a hint to interpreting 17, 22, and 51 across. It definitely seems like that should be groupthink, right? Yeah, in order to crack this theme, you have to be thinking groups. <laughs> groups of animals, specifically. What a fun theme. I absolutely love this. Even though we only got three theme answers, I was kind of hoping this would be a fourth theme answer. Um, that was still really fun. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can build off of groupthink here. End of week exclamation. That's going to be TGIF. We can all say that tomorrow. Language of Pakistan's Daily Kabrain. Um, I have no idea what the Daily Kabrain is, but it looks like it might be in Urdu. I know that's a language in Pakistan. Top prize. It's not the jackpot, right? Hmm. Lay off? Is this about laying people off of work? I don't know. Wabbit Hunter Elmer? That's Elmer Fudd. Maybe this is gold, like in the Olympics. Yeah, okay. Maybe this is idle, like you're laying off of doing anything? Yeah, that could be. Let's take another look at this down. Okay, so maybe this is going to be imbued with, there we go, filled with. Is this mom jeans? <laughs> That's a fun way to clue mom there. Okay. Okay, this looks like water tower, a wordplay clue. But I think this is going to be a homograph. I don't think it's a water tower. I think it's a water tower. And that would be a tugboat, right? They do towing in the water. I love when you have homographs in wordplay clues. They're always so challenging. Okay, blank ball. Hmm, what is this going to be? I don't know. How do you like blank apples? How do you like them apples? What is the etymology of that phrase? I've never understood that. <laughs> 
This piece of language has always baffled me. I know it was in Goodwill Hunting, it just has never made sense to me. Okay, Glass who shared the first ever Pulitzer in audio journalism. That's gotta be Ira Glass, right? The host of This American Life. All right, let's see if we can finally find out what kind of ball we have here. Net emissions target? That should definitely be zero. Yeah, let's get to zero emissions. Oh, it's gonna be matzo ball. Nice, like in matzo ball soup. I love matzo ball soup. Okay, and then this is going to be the other of the two sultanates in the United Nations. Very nice. We've got both Brunei and Oman. Excellent. All right, let's see if that last O will do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 35. That's about 10 minutes over our target Thursday time, but I think it was all due to the trickiness of getting a toehold into this theme, yeah. I think once we got what was going on, we started to make some real progress. I am usually a big fan of Rebus themes, and this one did not disappoint. This is one of the most fun Rebus puzzles I've done in a long time. I love that the animals in the Rebuses are replaced by their group name. So we had a Pride of Lions, a Murder of Crows, which is just phenomenal. I love that one so much for murder mystery. And then we end with an ant colony here at the bottom. And we got a fun group think revealer in case we needed help cracking the theme at the end. Very nice. That is a really, really strong theme. There was some really fun cluing on top of the theme too, mostly in the wordplay clues. I think this clue for kayak, boat going back and forth is just superlative. That is such a fun bit of wordplay. You don't really expect it to be talking about the actual letters in the word of the boat. Yeah. We had another fun nautical pun too. Tugboat, water tower. A fun homograph there. And then we also had anthems for country songs. Also a nice clever pun. I really appreciated the clue for Eon also. This almost cryptic style clue of telling you to anagram a word that's actually in the clue. And even just the fill in general was very strong. The theme answers of course were great. I really liked seeing same sex paired with pride month. These long downs crossing the theme answers were fun too. A million bucks and dominant hand, yeah. All right, well, hopefully we won't get accused of groupthink if we all say we enjoyed solving that Thursday puzzle together. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.